Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Mr. Econ here from the Girls X Battle Activity for you guys. Today, we're going to be doing another account overlook video for you guys. Today, we're going to look at Mino's account, and Mino is on server 358. But before we get into the rest of the video, if you're new to the channel, please subscribe. Your support's really appreciated. Don't forget to smash that like button and leave a comment down below and give Mino some love for willing to share his account with the rest of us. All right, ladies and gentlemen, uh, we have wishing capsules coming up in the next event, real quick. Hold on, I know we'll get into this. Please don't do wishing capsules. Unless you're a mega whale and you have can get away with doing it. Otherwise, I'm begging you, please don't fall into this trap. I'm warning you right now. I will warn you on Thursday as well. Or tomorrow, I should say. But please, do not do wishing capsules. Christmas is right around the corner. It's a bait. Please don't do it. No matter how enticing you might think it is, wait for, wish, wait for actual capsule event on Christmas. Okay? All right. With that being said, let's get into the video. All right. So... Let's pull up the questions, ladies and gentlemen. So, uh, Mino says, I mainly focus on PvE for now. PvP is later on. Which is smart. That's a good idea, considering what, what you currently have. Currently in the guild's solo killing bosses. I started late, so I wanted to get my max amount of coins to get my skills up. That's actually very smart to do. If you're just starting out the game, that is fine. Let's see. Uh, I don't know what I'm doing. So, I'm pretty sure you're in a guild now. What guild boss are they on? Yes, you're definitely probably sold or finished already. So that's a key point, ladies and gentlemen. If you're just starting out the game and you want to maximize the amount of guild coins and you don't mind being by yourself in a guild for a while to power through those, Mika can help out on that. Fenrir does as well. But Fenrir is actually really good for guild boss. The guild bosses 1 through 60. But uh, doing that to, get, to maximize the amount of guild coins you get is, is okay. And then joining into an actual guild in guild boss 61. Because you're not really worried about PvP as much. So, if you can power through that really quickly and then join an actual guild, nothing wrong with that. <clears throat> uh, and then you've said, saving runes to, to LB5 Angelica, which you have plenty of, like 687, which is great. Uh, hopefully, she drops by Christmas. That's, I think, their plan is to drop it on Christmas, to tell you the truth, but we'll see. Um, and then you're unsure what to do after that. We can get into that. Not sure if I'd use my advanced coins for Christmas event. I don't know if, I don't know if I'd even have enough or if the new characters are worth it. Okay. First off, on that note, you have plenty of capsules to do it. You might say if it's a double release, you might not have enough to LB5 a girl, which kind of sucks, but maybe hopefully in a side event because you get enough uh, side enough currency, you might be able to LB5 one of them. As far as which ones are going to be good or not at Christmas, we don't know. So the best bet I can tell everybody is I have to work on Saturday. So that means the stream on Christmas week will have to be Thursday at actual server reset. So when the game actually resets. So... We will actually test the new girls right away. As soon as like I get done capsule pulling and doing stuff like that. So everybody will know right away how they're doing. So Mino and everybody else, if you want to know how the, the... If you can wait for me to finish my capsule pulls and test live on stream, which you guys can come and watch, you can see if the, girl, the girls are good or not, and you can pull and make your decision that way. That's the best way of doing it. I'm the guinea pig. You guys can make the decision off of what you see, right? Or you can watch the rerun if you can't make it. Either way. Um, Mika is for HE, not really planning to increase her more. That's fine. Um, some people are going to argue with me on this point. But, because you are trying to, to finish your Angelica, right? I noticed you've got, only got to 49. Where is it? Right here. Which is okay. But finishing, you know, your patrol is very important. Everybody else, it's very important to do so. So, if you're not willing to finish Mika, Angelica can be patrol. Yes, someone's already done it, proved it. I believe they used, like, an energy, uh energy feed on them so fake crystal is obviously going to be the better one but you can like use uh dark mirror i think it is and then fake guide or fake mirror it's fake mirror i think it is one of the two um you can use that on it for the angie and do it that way uh angie can beat it i don't know really i didn't do it but someone posted it in my discord so I know it's possible, but I don't know the exact build they did. So if you have a question on it, I'm sure if you people, if anyone wanted to know, can't talk today, you can post a question in the Discord and someone will pull it back up like, hey, this is how I did it kind of thing. You know? Unfortunately, I can't go back and do my patrol. Otherwise, I would do it constantly and test new girls, right? But that would be cool if you had the ability to do that, but they don't. So it is what it is. Uh, I think I'm going to focus on Joe. We already said that. Yeah, that's fine. 
Uh, Fenrir is OC, though I don't know if it's even that effective. There is a guide for OC, I believe, in South's chart. Rainville's really big on it, too. Um, Fenrir is really good, I think, like, is an Ami boss and some other ones. So Fenrir does really shine at OC pretty well, to tell you the truth. So, yeah, Fenrir is, right now, good for OC. That's pretty much it. <clears throat> Uh, as far as your Blair and Estel thing you're talking about here, remember Blair and Estel are good for multi-target bosses. So a uh, PV boss is the only one we really have right now is Sky Island. And even then in Sky Island, it's kind of crappy because they always nerf the crap out of DOT damage and application of it. So we're not getting the full benefit of our Blair and Estels, which kind of really makes me angry, but it is what it is. But um, you can still use Blair and Estel for other bosses. Just remember that for single target bosses right now, Angelica... Uh, with having support, obviously, to boost her damage is the best one to do damage on single target bosses. The only exception to this is in Sanctuary with Diana, but Angelica gets you to those stages where the Diana will do more. So Diana needs the Angelica to do more, but Diana does do more. It's kind of complicated. It's like weird, but yeah. Um, you got a Vivian just because, I guess, Vivian's kind of fallen off. Yes, you can use her for other things in the, like different Sky Island um, battles. You can use her there. Uh, helps out. Excuse me. Kill uh, by 61, removing the armor, the attack, or the health. One of those two. Whatever one it does. One of the three. Uh, Vivian is kind of okay if you're mid light game for PvP. She eventually falls off in end game though. And so let's go. That's the end of your questions, but let's scroll back. Um, definitely. Uh, you definitely have enough for uh for Christmas. You'll definitely have enough on rolls to do. Um. New Year's and Rolls, which will correlate together with Christmas. They usually go hand in hand. Uh, overall, I, I want to point something out. I found this. Hold on. On this right here, on your Neff, you had... Let's see here. This right here. Snowball. Snowball has... If you're building a Neff in your early game and stuff like that, and you're using it because Neff's very good for beginner accounts too. Mika's the better one. Neff's still good if you get the copies. Um... Attack precision does nothing for Neff. Helps her out nothing. Yeah. Neff actually doesn't need a lot of attack at all. She can have like 70,000 attack. Her her damage, her passive last damage, passive damage is based off the enemy's attack. That's why she's so good in tests like Diana is. So the best thing to do with her, if you don't have, let's say, uh, a yellow damage reduction antique, which you have this on your 9-star Phyrexy, which keep her alive, I can make sense on that. You could use... Dancing Mask, which I just put on your Neff because it's damage reduction HP. That's what you want on Neff. As much damage reduction as possible and as much HP as possible. That's how she thrives right now, right? So, I switched it for you, uh, Mino. That's what you're looking for, okay? On her. And then, let's look at your servants real quick. Everything else looks fine for the most part. You but actually, um, you're doing that, that's fine. Yes, I know. Thank you. Can you just, oh, you haven't been upgrading? I mean, you know, it's it, like if you're already committed to this, which I've already did a vi I just did a video on servants, your early game, you're just starting out, you're kind of doing PvE stuff more. Um, you can go to the hunter if you want, but probably just you can unload all of that into the deer right now if you want. I mean, I don't know why you're saving it, but that's it's up to you. You can do whatever you want. I'm not gonna force you to do it, but that's that's fine, I guess. Um, Girls wise, like I was saying, you have food to build, girls coming up. Uh you get more food from Christmas when you do it. Remember, don't do wishing capsules this week, ladies and gentlemen. Uh you can leave your Estel there for now. Just finish your Angelica, yes, and these are fine linky psychic. Pate. Pate's good in many different aspects of the game, so getting her to at least ten star will be fine. Eventually, you can get her to LB5. Uh, it also depends on what we get for new, for Christmas. So this is kind of like wide open. Like, we don't know what's going to happen. But we'll just have to wait and see. But overall, you know, your count's not bad. You're doing pretty good. You got nice amount of gems, gold. Uh, well, how much juice do you have? Still, that's not bad. You're, you've are you got spent a little bit of money on the game, and which is fine. Uh, also, if you care that this is not actually bad, if you want to do this and get some holly copies for yourself, She's really good at PvP. That's not that you care that much about it, but you also get uh, capsules 
and lots of gems. This this is I actually like the pro uh, promotion program. People might argue it's trash, but hey, I think it's a good thing. It's up to you if you're willing to spend the money. But any other questions on your? Th da -da -da. No, you seem to be doing all what you're doing. You're doing very, very good. So, with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, that's all I got for you guys today. So stay safe out there. It's a crazy world. I'll see you in the next video. Peace out, ladies and gentlemen.